Hey, what's up, guys? It's me at TBSJJMYT. We are doing our first Madden 21 video. Uh, I've gone on a break because I haven't had a lot of fun doing YouTube recently, but let's get into my team. So these are my abilities. I like to rock a balance of abilities. I have two receiver abilities, a center ability, and of course, an ability on my quarterback, an ability on my running back, uh, an ability on my tight end, and an X factor on my backup halfback and my third receiver. And oops, I um, that's my bad. Uh, I was showing off Justin Herbert here. Uh, Justin Herbert is my QB. Uh, he has this ability called I forget what it's called, but it is perfect pass accuracy inside the numbers, which is kind of busted for an eighty-eight overall quarterback card. Uh, let's see, who do I have for RC with five? Um, all these guys, I think I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna throw in Andre Johnson. He is the Mutt Master for this year. I think that's what that's called. Um, but yeah, this is my offense, not too shabby. This is my defense. I do have the rookie premier, Patrick Queen. I picked that up last year. Safety, we could use some help. Uh, I picked up that flashbacks Adrian Amos because he has like 91 speed and he's pretty fast. And he is my user for majority of the game, but I do not suggest using a safety uh, until Patrick Queen gets an upgrade. Uh, he is not fast enough to keep up with like 93 speed, uh, eight, like... Um, not John Ross, but he's not. He can't keep up with most of the fast receivers. Cornerbacks, I really like because I have a 90 CP guy. These are my punter and kicker. I want to upgrade them as soon as I can. And I am rocking the Atlanta Falcons offense and defense because they are actually some of my favorite playbooks to actually use. Um, all right, let's get into this. Um. I am 2-1 and one on my current season. I do not have a Super Bowl yet. Uh, I did go to the playoffs once, and I lost to a guy who had 98 Cam Chancellor because Blitz came out, like, two or three days ago. So I am currently recording this on Sunday. So you guys probably won't see it till like Wednesday or Thursday, maybe Tuesday if I'm really ahead of schedule. So let's get into this game. Uh, the last game I actually lost because the guy pause glitched me. You can, you saw a score there, but halfway through the game he pause glitched me because I think he had to leave or something. But please don't pause glitch. This is just a little bit of a PSA. Please don't pause glitch, people. It is not kind, and believe me, people work super hard to get to their season. And it is not nice when you just pause glitch them. And this guy does not have the best team. He has 92 powered up Deshaun Watson, though, which is pretty good. But my top three is probably, in my opinion, a little, a lot better than his top three. And I am kicking off, so I will get the ball at the second quarter, which is really good. And in my opinion, one of the best things to get. Um, I was thinking about bringing out onside kick on this guy because I am very good at getting onside kicks, but I decided not to this time. And he has Marquise Brown, who has return man. That is one of the scariest things in this game. I do not like seeing Marquise Brown with return man. So, yep, on onto offense, he is in a two tight end, or sorry, one tight end set, and I'm on Brian Dawkins. Usually, I like to sub in Adrian Amos right there, and he throws right to where I was covering. Right there is why I wanted to sub in Adrian Amos, because he has 90 speed, and he can keep up with the receivers really, really well. And I like to run a cover three most of the time, but if I do see they are have a majority receiver set, uh, I like to run a cover two. And that run play is going absolutely nowhere. I'm recording for you, too. All right, let's get into this. Um, let's see. I do believe he is passing here. I mean, he, he could run QB draw. Adrian Amos is in. Every single person with an ability on my defense is in. He's just running straight up slants. And it's going to get picked off by CPU Patrick Queen. This guy, in my opinion, was not the best player in the world. So I am very fortunate that 
he was not a very good player because my defense gets tarnished a lot of the time, and I am indeed looking for new defensive playbooks because I would really like something new. Anyways, um, on to offense. I like to run a weak set, and I start off every game by running this power O play. I run three formations, sometimes four. Uh, right here, I run a power O where it motions the guy over, and most of the time people will run commit. So I put Julio Jones on a streak, expecting him to commit to the run. His linebacker does commit to the run, but I have a wide open... Julio Jones, who does not make that catch, which is really annoying because that 93 overall Julio is possibly the best receiver in the game right now, and I expect him to make this catch, but it doesn't matter because I'm going into straight up underneath routes, wide open, wide open Eric Ebron, swerve his user a little bit right there. I'm very fortunate that his guy who was chasing Eric Ebron fell down, and that is very nice. All right. Um, let it, we are now just going to go back into power O. Uh, I have not subbed in Adrian, or no, not, sorry. I have not subbed in my backup halfback yet. I forget his name. Laney Tomlinson has, I really expected him to juke him out there because he was coming at a weird angle, but that is okay. I am probably going to go with another run play here. Based on the fact that he is playing very spread out, but I think I'm just going to audible into the play action. So I'll audible into the play action, and we have a wide open Julio Jones. That crossing route with the streak is the, one of the most nasty things on the planet. The user and the other guy will go all the way. So that's really nice. Now I'm down to the five, and if I'm being honest, the five is not my favorite place to be, but... As long as I just pull out read option wildcat, it's nice. And I made a horrible read here, but I somehow managed to take it in because that guy is very slow. I think that is the Mills guy. Anyways, right here, I went for two. I should have kicked the PAT. And it almost went... It was really bad. It, it was almost really bad. But... Yeah, oh, sorry. It was really bad because I tried to go for the juke here. Which usually works most of the time, but that cornerback played that insanely well. And that was his user, too. So he went for the block, turned around, and got that. So that guy is fast. I kept that in mind as I'm going. And I was also debating bringing out onside kick here, but I figured I need to save that for a later time. I do save it for a later time, and I actually don't get it, which is really sad. And he takes the kick out to about the 40. Or 30, excuse me. And I... I'm debating what to run here. I decide to go into dime. And in dime, I run Tampa 2 or cover 4. Tampa 2 because I like to keep everything in front of me, which is basically what my defense is. Keep everything in front of me. Don't let them go deep. And this guy is running suggest plays. And I have no clue what happened here. I think it was because my cornerback was playing underneath. And... I brought my safety down out of the play, which was very disappointing. So I am going... I always come out in safe man because if you run safe man, they'll never be able to get the PAT because they will not go for the block. I feel like it's unnecessary to go for a block in a game because there's no point because it's just so rare for it to happen. And I always wait until they choose the play for the kickoff, because if you choose onside kick, it will come up as suggested as onside kick. He kicks a very nice kick to Julio Jones here. I am going to fair catch that, because I am seeing how well his defense is big hitting, and I do not want to fumble. I have not even brought out my main play, gun bunch. I like to run bunch trail, but here I think I am running corner strike. And that is what I'm doing. So right here, what I like to do is throw the underneath route to A. But right then, he played amazing coverage. I think I had B wide open, but I could not tell because I got sacked pretty much instantly. And I'm just going to come out in this again, see if I can get Julio wide open. Brent, uh, and I did, but 
Julio could not make the catch, which was really sad this game because Julio was not playing the best game here. Um, I don't have any catching abilities on Julio because in the past, Julio has made some insane catches, so I have reached for it on Julio because I like the extra yards. And it is the same thing here. So right here, I am going to go into... I think I have the same clip loop there, so that's my bad. So right here, I'm going into this play. See if Julio can get open, because that's the only guy I'm going to throw to on this play. Julio does get open. Swerve around. Block from Odell. Swerve. Deion Sanders. And I should have taken this all the way, because I have no clue how Richard Sherman was that fast. But, hey, I mean, I'm on the 17-yard line now. I basically went 100 yards, or uh, basically went all the way downfield in one play which was really nice, and that is going to be the end of quarter number one. I am indeed down on the clock. Sorry, down on the score scoring-wise, but that does not matter because I plan on scoring right here, and I also plan on getting the two-point conversion. Dania Tomlinson here is going to take the screen and take it to the house because Joe Sherbert, Joe Sherbert gets hold, held up on that block. That should not have been a touchdown, in my opinion. I did not see... The ball break the plane when I went back and reviewed it, but apparently the game said it did, so whatever the same game says goes. And I'm going for two right here, and I try and rifle it into Julio, but he makes another drop, which is something I'm keeping in mind for the rest of this game, that Julio isn't really catching most of the contested catches that he catches mostly. And again, I thought about bringing out onside kick, but I figured... I'm stopping this guy on defense. He The only touchdown he has is on one lucky play. So I'm just going to go ahead and kick it to him. As long as I don't give up the kick return here. Whenever I see somebody who is really fast and on kick returns, I always make sure to hang back at the end and just kind of mirror their movements so that they can never really get a return on me. Because if you're running downfield and your entire team is running downfield and they get blocked up, then that's bad. I go on Patrick Queen here because I'm nervous about him getting another downfield throw. And it's basically just the same thing. He's running... He is running coach suggestions, which is very nice. And he just throws a little underneath route to Tyler Lockett, but I should... We should have... Uh, we should have been all over that. Sadly, my outside linebacker, Derek Brooks, wasn't playing that very well. And he looks like he's running doubles right here. And he throws a really sketchy pass right to his tight end. I was all over that. I took my user off at the last second whenever I see the ball thrown, which is a bad habit I do have. And I, but we break it up, so it doesn't matter. Right here, he is going with a crosser route, and I am all over that. Easy user interception. I try to take it back for more, but I do not get it. I get tackled, sadly. And... I believe we are going straight into stretch right here. And I believe I'm going into two clock because I don't I get the ball at half and I don't want him to have enough time to go down and score. Because if I don't score here, I don't want him making it a one possession game. So I go to LT right there. He gets a nice juke. If I'm being honest, I could have played that a lot better, cut to the right a little bit more. And taking that for a touchdown, but I'm just happy I got positive yards, and that's where we have to stay in life is positive. And I'm just gonna run the same play and over and over again because he is not stacking the box at all. Get a nice juke there, but it doesn't work. Juke box is not the same as it was in Madden 20. Now, here I'm just gonna keep running the same play over and over again because as the old saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Which is how you play a lot of Madden. The run game is working, so don't fix it. I like to run this power formation a lot. And take I took it to the two-minute warning right there, which was really nice. And I am going to go into week now and run power O. So hopefully I can get power O to work because he's been clamping it a lot this game. And whenever I motion over the tight end... It mostly gives away that it's a run, but Lindanian Tomlinson, being the beast that he is, takes it for 10. And right here, I'm just going to run mesh because, as you all have seen, the underneath routes and drag routes 
he cannot stop because my offense is based around you cannot cover the entire field at once and you can see that right here i could have taken that in for a touchdown but i wanted to chew a little bit more clock and this guy has not stopped my run game so i figured i'll pound it in maybe burn a little bit more uh, burn a little bit more time off the clock and see how that goes Landanian Tomlinson is going to take this in. I would have liked to not get it and wait one more play, but you know what? It's more points, so that's fine. Here, I do go for two, and I get a delay of game penalty. I think I remember I got a penalty on this. I do not remember what penalty I got, though. Yeah, I got a offsides penalty. So after that, I figured I'm just going to kick the PAT, make it 19-7. to It's still a two-possession game for me. So he has to score and score again, which is extremely hard in Madden. And I have been locking down his defense very, very well. All right, let's get to this kickoff. I was debating doing onside kick again, but in this game, I don't decide to run it. Because this is the last time I'm going to be doing a kickoff. Alright, and he takes it pretty good up to the, about 25. And I'm just going to go straight into cover 4. Or, sorry, straight into 4-4, four, four, cover 3. Because it's basically what's been locking him down the whole time. QB spy on. I'm back on Adrian Amos. He's running corner out right here. And just throws a ball way out of reach. I have no clue what he's trying to do now. I don't know. He tried to run the Tyler Lockett burner play to see if it could get open again. It does not because I'm playing deep now. And I see this all the way, and I user pick it off. I bait that throw all the time. People try and run the cover three beater that they did last year. And this is an amazing play by Adrian Amos. Trucks over one guy. I dodge the rest into the end zone and this guy is out of here that is how you win games in madden folks uh i would like to personally thank each and every one of you for watching i hope you had a wonderful thanksgiving and have a wonderful christmas uh i hope you are all doing well from covid19 please stay safe and that's tbsjgm signing off